Well, this Women's History Month, we have been showcasing women making a difference across the world. Yeah, and today we actually want to focus on mothers and childbirth. More than 10% of childbirths, they are premature, and parents, they spend some weeks, sometime even months, taking care of their little baby in that neonatal intensive care unit. Now, yesterday we had the chance to speak with one of those parents, author Candace Jones, as she shared with us how she got through that journey and how she is hoping her new book will help other families going through the same thing. What led you to take your experience of having a preemie and writing a book about it? Um, so it actually started off as a project I was doing for my preemie daughter, Layla. Um, that's who the book is about. She was born just a few ounces away from being a micro preemie. She was two pounds, three ounces. Mm -hmm. And um, this year was her sixth birthday. And I wanted to do something a little bit um, different for her birthday. Usually we do the normal gifts, toys, you know, things like that. Um, so I decided to write her a book. I just kind of wanted her to um, know where she came from. I mean, this book is kind of sharing your own experience. So how do you think sharing your experience is going to help parents maybe going through similar situations? Personally, I feel like um, this is a situation that isn't talked about as much as it should be. This is very common. Um, having premature babies has became um, more common than not. And um, it will help other parents that's going through the same situation to kind of ground themselves and see that this is just a temporary situation. Right at that moment, we are um, focusing on the now. We see our babies in the NICU and we see them struggling and it's really hard for us. But um, I feel like the book is sort of inspiration to show them um, that there, there are brighter days ahead. What is the goal of the NICU library? The NICU library came about um, because I, reading has always been um, something that me and my children have always done, you know, uh, them babies and growing up. And it has helped me um, to escape. There was times where I wasn't able to, you know, hold my baby. And um, sometimes I run out of things to say to her. <laughs> when she's in that little box, you don't really know what to say. So I used to bring books up to the library to read to her. Um, there's only so many songs you can sing. There's only so many things you can say to her. So the books was just like an alternative for her to know that I was always there. Um, the thought that I had bringing the NICU um, library into the hospital was giving other parents that same opportunity. Not all the time are we thinking about small things as, you know, reading a book and how important that can be for our little preemie. So um, bringing that library into the hospital kind of um, takes that pressure away from them to have to think about it, just having that available for them. So if they do run out of things to say or um, if they, uh, you know, just want to share a story with their baby, they have that option available. Um, the books are free to them, um, and they will also be able to actually keep the books afterwards. You know, we got several people watching from all over Central Texas. Maybe they're watching, they want to donate uh, to the library. How can they do that? And this is going to be at McLean's, right? Yes, so it's going to be at uh, Temple McLean Children's um, NICU, and uh, we have a Melody's Little Library Facebook page. Um, they can go on there and we have an Amazon wish list available so they can purchase books there and it'll go directly to Melody's Little Library or um, my contact information is on there. If there's books that they would like to donate that is not on that list, um, the address is also on there. Um, and if they are wanting to um, do any like financial donations, they would just go onto the Baylor Scott and White um, website and they would do the donation there and just make sure to put a little memo in the comment section that says it's for Melody's Little Library. Okay, so Candace is currently accepting book donations for Temple's Baylor Scott and White Hospital, NICU. If you are an author or would like to donate a book, send them to Melody's Little Library at the address on your screen. Yeah, and if you would like to buy Candace's book, you can find it right now on Amazon. More Texas Today after the break.